So if you guys seen me in the first video of this series, you can obviously tell by now that I'm building an off-grid cabin. It's gonna be right behind me here. All that lumber you saw me grab on the tractor, that's going up to the shop and put the walls together, stud the walls in, measure out the windows. So I'm gonna take you guys along for every step of this process. Um, I appreciate everybody who has subscribed to this channel. I appreciate you sitting through this uh, short commentary here. And without further ado, here's some video. All right, guys, we're in the shop. You see I got a little football going on in the background. But here's my wood stack at my desk. I have the design. This is a wall layout here. I'm not sure if that will focus or what. Apparently not. Um, but anyway, I've got the, the layout here. Actually, the layout of the cabin is here. I'm gonna have to get this to focus at some point and show you guys this a little bit better. But I've got the side walls, the front wall, the rear wall, and I've started laying out my truss design here. Or not my truss, gonna be, they're gonna be rafters. But um, anyhow, we're gonna start by making one of these side walls. So this is the first sidewall. Let me back up a little bit here. This is my first sidewall. And it took me a little over an hour to put this together. Um, but if, you, if you've seen in the time lapse there, I have to cut every board to length. Because remember, this is all rough sawn lumber. And you end up with goofy edges on every one, because remember this was a tree that I chainsaw cut. And uh, that's actually probably my hinge cut from felling this tree. Same thing here and another one. But every one of these, none of them are gonna be square. This one's curved back and back this way. This one's got a goofy edge on it. So anyway, I gotta, I gotta true up one end and then I've gotta cut all of them to length in order to get these ready to go. But I've gotta build another wall just like this and then the front and back walls. All right, it was a long evening. It's 9.30 in the evening right now, but I've got all my walls built. So here's a mock-up of my rafter. I've got a scrap board in here representing my top cord. I'm gonna do these at a 45 degree angle, so a 12-12 pitch. My bottom joint is just a notch. Um, these are gonna sit right on the top sill plate of the of the walls that I have built over here. I'll be sitting right up here on the top. All right, so you guys seen the video clip of me framing up these walls inside the barn. I did that because it was rainy and windy and it was just easier to get them all done in here. And the advantage that I have is I have this tractor behind me that I'm gonna carry all these walls out to the woods at the same time. So without further ado, we're gonna go get to work. are going to go up here in a second. Wall sheathing is here. Mark's got a fire going. We're going to set you guys up on a time lapse. There's Mark right there. Your face is red, dude. You've been getting a little close to the fire, haven't you? Probably. There's Coco. Hey, Coke. All right, let's get you guys on a time lapse.
that actually went up very easily. The tractor was able to get the through the woods here. It took us a while. We went nice and slow, but uh, a heck of a lot better than trying to carry them back here. We'll start putting sheathing on the outside, cut open the window and door openings. We're basically tying these together so we can attach the um, the piece of wood that'll connect the two walls together. We're gonna use those boards right there. those two that I marked out on the edge. You might have to angle them. You're going to end up doing these from the ladder in a minute. But 